Apple Notes and Google Keep are two of the most widely used free note-taking tools out there, especially because they come pre-installed on their respective platforms. So, anyone using an iPhone is apparently using Apple Notes, and the same goes for Google. But under the surface, they represent two fundamentally different philosophies for capturing your thoughts. One is a powerful, evolving digital notebook, while the other is a fast, flexible digital sticky pad. So, which one is actually better for you? To begin with, let's talk about how these apps look and feel, because their design philosophies are completely different. So let's put them side by side. As you can see, Apple Notes presents a more structured environment. You have a clean list view or a tidy gallery view, all set against a subtle paper-like background. The interface is consistent across iPhone, iPad, and Mac, with a clear hierarchy of folders and notes. This design encourages you to think about creating a lasting, organized archive of information. We're using Apple Notes for a long time, and this user-friendly interface is one of the reasons. On the other hand, Google Keep has a completely different vibe. It's designed to be more like a digital sticky notes. The interface is a free-flowing grid of cards that you can color code for quick visual organization. Did you notice the prominent plus icon at the corner? That's intentional. Keep prioritizes speed of capture above all else. Its minimalist design is less about building a structured library and more about jotting down a thought, a list, or a reminder as quickly as possible and moving on. While Apple's design feels more substantial, some might find Keep's colorful, less rigid layout easier on the eyes and more approachable for quick, in-the-moment ideas. Now, let's get into the core of any note-taking app, the actual features for writing and creating. Apple Notes has evolved into a surprisingly powerful, lightweight word processor. Let us show you this. Inside a single note, you can create complex documents with rich text formatting, including titles, headings, and multiple list styles. You can also insert fully functional tables, which is a huge advantage for organizing data. With recent updates in iOS 17, you can even create links between your notes building a personal wiki of your thoughts. In contrast, Google Keep has always championed simplicity. For a long time, it didn't even have text formatting. While it has recently added basic options like bold, italics, and headings, the experience is still much simpler. You can't create tables, and it's difficult to mix different formats like a checklist and a long paragraph within the same note fluidly. However, Keep has a standout feature that Apple Notes lacks. Native Voice Memo Transcription You can speak a note, and Keep will not only save the audio but also provide a text transcription right inside the note, which is incredibly useful for capturing ideas on the go. Following that, how do these apps help you organize all the notes you create? Apple Notes uses a multi-layered system. The primary structure is a traditional folder system and you can even create subfolders for deeper organization. On top of that, you can add hashtags anywhere in a note to create flexible, searchable tags. The real power, however, comes from smart folders. As you can see here, we can create a folder that automatically gathers all notes with a specific tag or all notes created in the last week. This combination of rigid folders and flexible tags makes it a fantastic tool for managing a large, growing library of information over the long term. Google Keep utterly disappoints here. There are no folders. Instead, you organize everything with labels, which work like simple tags, and by color coding your notes. You can also pin your most important notes to the top of the screen. This system is very intuitive for managing a smaller number of active notes, like weekly to-do lists, shopping lists, or temporary reminders. However, if you have hundreds of notes, the lack of a hierarchical folder structure will make your main screen feel cluttered and reliant almost entirely on search to find older information. Moving on, let's discuss how each app handles more than just text. When it comes to media and attachments, Apple Note's most significant advantage is the built-in document scanner. 
let us show you how you can use your iPhone's camera to scan a multi-page document directly into a note as a single, high-quality PDF. You can also add photos, videos, and web links that show up as rich previews. This makes it an incredibly powerful tool for students or professionals who need to digitize and organize various types of media. Google Keep, again, is more limited in this area. You can add images and drawings to your notes, and as we mentioned, its voice memo feature is excellent. However, you cannot attach videos or any other file types like PDFs. If you want to scan a document, you have to leave Keep and use the separate Google Drive app, which is a much clunkier workflow. Where Keep shines, however, is its integration with the Google Workspace. You can transfer any note directly to your Google Doc right from here. Of course, sharing and collaborating on notes is essential. Both apps handle this well, but with one critical difference related to security. Both Apple Notes and Google Keep allow you to share a note with others and edit it together in real time. The changes appear almost instantly for all collaborators, which is great for shared shopping lists or team brainstorming. The key distinction, however, is security. Did you notice this lock icon in Apple Notes? It allows you to lock any individual note with your device's password, face ID, or touch ID. These locked notes are end-to-end -end encrypted, which means not even Apple can read their contents. Google Keep offers no such feature. There is no way to password protect an individual note. Its security is tied entirely to your main Google account. This is a crucial difference for anyone who plans on storing sensitive information, like passwords or financial details, in their notes. To sum everything up, here are the core pros and cons for each app we've figured out. Ultimately, everything makes sense when you know the purpose. Google Keep was purposefully made simple, so there is no point expecting advanced features. If you are deeply invested in the Apple ecosystem and want a powerful, secure tool for long-term knowledge management, Apple Notes is more suitable for you. But if you need a simple, fast, cross-platform tool for quick reminders and lists that works everywhere, Keep could be the match. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.